Midline Spinners does well. Then Bread Kits, a catfish, September 28, 2013. Headed out to Betty this morning before the rains hit. And we start out with a little rooster tail inline spinner. And uh, had a, a hit right off the bat and missed it. Was able to get this guy. Little bass. Kept at it. Working the shoreline. Got this guy to hit. Another little bass. Another one strikes. In this case, um, I think this one was a sunfish. Yep. Sure was. A sunfish. And we kept at it again. This time we switched to uh, inline, another inline spinner, uh, a MEPS. I think it's a MEPS Anglia. And we started getting more bass. And that was a bass that we just got. And then uh, had another one take. Not the little guy taking it. And this one took it just underneath the cypress trees as we were working another part of the shoreline in the main pond. Not bad, not bad. And we got another one also in the cypress trees. And there it is. And this one, uh, we had a couple of good hits and then uh, missed it. And kept at it and ended up uh, getting this one to stay on the hook. Good stuff. So we switched to bread when uh, we noticed something was eating on the surface, or feeding on the surface. Threw out some bread that uh, we had. And had one take. And this one was really good. So put up a good fight. We'll speed up the video here just to get things going. And uh, it took us about maybe, oh, about two, three minutes to bring it in. We're using four pound test on an ultralight spinning reel. And sure enough, we're able to get this guy in. So we take a quick measure and it comes out to be 20 inches. Not bad, not bad. So, uh, get some video of it, and we'll let it go. See if it get, get bigger. Till next time, good luck, and good fishing.